What's up guys and girls, my name is Midnight Strike 3625 and you are watching the next episode of Versus, which is also the penultimate episode of Season 2. So, if you haven't already, click the link to the video in the description down there to get your voice in and make yourselves heard for Versus suggestions, because the finale will be fan voted. I haven't done one of those since... Uh, Jason Newstead versus Robert Trujillo. So a lot of those were really, really successful. So I want to kind of generate a little bit of discussion on something that you guys, you, the audience, want to hear about. So again, thank you guys for bearing with me during last week. It's been, you know, spotty uploads all month. But then again, I had a little bit of a personal crisis I had to deal with last week. So I didn't really upload as much as I usually do. I'm not really feeling comfortable divulging into it on YouTube or Daily Motion at this time, but I will let you guys know as soon as I feel comfortable sharing it with you. I might do a midnight vlog on it or something on my Facebook, but hey, you know what? It is what it is, I suppose, and you move on. So basically, this week is going to be talking about two bands, talking about two bands that were very popular during the grunge period of time in the late 80s to early 1990s, those two bands of course being Nirvana and Alice in Chains. Now Nirvana is a little bit more guitar oriented, they released their first album Bleach in 1989, a very good album, very underrated, especially compared to In Utero, and of course their prized album Nevermind, which most people know smells like teen spirits or lithium off of, or of course come as you are. So a lot of those albums tend to be overlooked, especially Bleach, which is their first album. It's by far their rawest, but most people I talk to only know about a girl. So it's one of those things where Nirvana just gets really heavily hyped up and, you know, they have a few hits, but a lot of their material is either undiscovered or underrated. So they're constantly, constantly known as being one of the most overrated metal bands, or grunge bands, I should say, of all time. I would kind of agree with that, partially because they were hyped up after the death of singer Kurt Cobain, but then again, they do have a lot of underrated material as well, most of which being very simplistic, very guitar-oriented and guitar-driven, whereas on Alice in Chains' side, yes, it is still guitar-driven, but they add a lot of effects and atmospheric elements, as I explained in my Dirt review. So, basically, when comparing the two, you have to remember both of their lead singers died, Alice in Chains rejuvenated, and Nirvana kind of rejuvenated under the name Foo Fighters with Dave Grohl. So, basically, both of the bands are still kind of active, but Nirvana broke up after the death of Kurt Cobain, but then again, they live on through the legacy of Foo Fighters, so you could kind of compare the two. A little bit different on the, uh, you know, the comparison chart, maybe I might do a versus with those two later, but, you know, it's a little bit different in terms of genre. So, when comparing Nirvana and Alice in Chains, I would have to go probably with Alice in Chains, just because there's a lot more kick to them. There's a lot more as atmospheric elements versus just kind of guitar-oriented, simplistic rock that we've all heard before. I mean, I'm not saying that Alice or that Nirvana are unoriginal. I'm just saying most of the stuff that they're putting through, we've already heard before in music. I mean, it, yes, it is a little bit different from everything else, but it is in the same vein of what we've already heard. That being said, Kurt Cobain is a very talented vocalist. He, you know, encompasses a lot of punk atmospheric elements as well, a lot of punk-oriented grot or groove to it, but... When it comes down to it, I mean, we've heard this stuff before. Yes, it is good. Yes, it sounds good. Yes, they do add their own flair to it. But in terms of grunge, in terms of every band that was coming out that or during that era, they sound very similar to bands like Green Day and just punk bands that are coming out, like Bad Religion. So I'm not going to say that they're not good in their own right, but when comparing them to a band like Alice in Chains that have mastered the art of grunge and are still going to this day it gets a little bit murky in the waters of comparison. So I'm going to have to go with Alice in Chains on that one. They're still going strong today. They're still putting out a lot of great material. In fact, I just reviewed their latest album, The Devil Put Dinosaurs Here, when it came out last May. So, I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. My favorite two albums by Alice in Chains are Dirt and Black Gives Way to Blue. Can't really decide which one I like better. My favorite album by Nirvana would probably be Nevermind or Bleach. So, basically not discounting All Apologies or Heart Shaped Box, anything on In Utero, but that one didn't really capture the essence 
of what the band is all about to me personally. I still like the album, but just not as much as Bleach and Nevermind. So Nevermind is probably my favorite. I know it's probably going to be, you know, it's viewed upon as, oh, yo, you only know the hits. But no, I love that entire album. Maybe I'll review it sometime. Maybe I won't. Maybe it'll be like in the third wave of classic reviews. Who knows? But for now, I'm going to go with Nir or Alice in Chains. Nirvana, you know, they're good and all, but on a comparison, you know, in terms of technicality, I would just have to go with Alice in Chains because they incorporate a lot more variety, atmospheric elements, they're a little bit more melodic, they're still going strong today, and each and every one of their albums sounds different and adds something new to the mix. So with that, what do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think um, for Nirvana and Alice in Chains. Maybe next time I'll bring in a guest because I just actually... Uh, got in contact with my friend X Gamer Strikes Back, who actually lives like what two miles away from me. So we might do a few videos together, and I might feature him as a guest on my channel. Maybe not. I never really watch guest videos. So go check him out. Links in the description for his channel as well. Don't forget to vote for suggestions because I will be making a poll for that soon. So with that, this is Midnight Strike 3625. Keep calm and rock on.